Hello, and welcome back to another episode from Highwater Studio. In today's episode, we're going to follow up on our discussion about mass balance, and in this case, we're going to include energy balance, and we're going to look at an analysis of how much coal is consumed by a typical coal-fired power plant. So, starting this discussion, we're going to assume a typical power plant of 500 megawatts. That's generally what you would see, at least in the US. And we're going to assume an energy output of coal, a thermal output of 25 kilojoules per gram. And this will be the energy input into the coal-fired power plant, obviously. And this is actually on the higher end of what you might expect for a thermal output of coal. It can range anywhere from like 12 kilojoules per gram up to around 28. So in this case, we're going to be looking at a, a smaller amount of coal per megawatt of energy output. And we're going to assume a capture efficiency of 33% or about a third. And this is actually because that's very typical. In fact, it's really across the board for all power plants. They, the power plants are really old. They're just giant steam engines, basically. They're very old technology. They don't transfer energy from coal into electricity very well. Most of that energy actually is lost out the smokestack or as cooling water. So if we look at balancing this mass and energy, we have about 1,500 megawatts of energy required to get the 500 megawatts of output because of the loss of efficiency. And so if we divide that 1,500 megawatts by our energy input from the coal of our 24 kilojoules per gram, we have 62 and a half kilograms per second basically is what that's going to equate to so i mean already you can probably maybe that's mind-blowing that 62 kilograms of coal per second and if we convert that over to in the you know american system english system we have about 250 tons per hour and yeah that's typical that's actually kind of on the low end uh, i actually went to a power plant when I was an undergrad and asked the engineer there what their coal intake was and he said 300 tons per hour and I thought either he was crazy or I heard him wrong so I did this sort of analysis as well and yeah blew my mind that that's how much coal goes through a power plant every every hour and so if you think about like you know energy electricity as clean energy and just think about how much energy was used in this video. Um, well, assuming this is 10 minutes, it's not gonna take 10 minutes, but for a 10 minute YouTube video on an energy efficient MacBook, like what I'm using now, uh, 60 watts, right? So if you convert that to the coal energy required, remember you gotta multiply by three. So 180 watts is what kind of coal input you're gonna need. And if you, extrapolate that out over 10 minutes you have about 108 kilowatts or kilojoules per second and or actually not per second you have 108 kilojoules in total over 10 minutes and then if you divide that by our thermal input from coal you're going to have about four and a half grams of coal is what it takes to watch a 10 minute youtube video on an energy efficient laptop and actually this is, I went into our lab and weighed out four and a half grams of, this is actually activated carbon, it's not coal, but this is what four and a half grams of, grams of carbon looks like. So that's what you're burning every time you watch a 10 minute YouTube video. Uh, at least if you're in an area that has a coal fired power plant as your primary power source. So just, uh, you know, something I guess be aware of and I hope I didn't bring down anybody's day, but I definitely appreciate you watching our video. Thank you.